Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the 8th Fall Champ, the Adult Fan of Lego Champion, here with set 76951, the Pyroraptor, I hope I'm saying that right, Pyroraptor and Dilophos Dilophosaurus Transport. Uh, you can see right here I got the set built up. Uh, again, I'll get the negatives out of the way just right away. Uh, clearly, you can see there's a couple of stickers. Uh, there's not too many. There's just the three. The color match is not great. I feel like the glare on them right now is actually making it look even better than they are, and it still doesn't look great. Uh, the much bigger deal would be that this was for a Jeep, a little, you know, pretty flimsy trailer, two dinosaurs and three figures, that this was a $40 set, and allegedly the price is going to go up uh pretty soon here. So that is not uh, great. Again, that's only uh, 254 pieces for $40. That's a terrible price to part ratio. Uh, but that's the, that's the negatives. Um, actually, actually, if I had to pick out one more negative, there's some weak spots on some of the, on some of the uh, mini figures here. Like you can see like the right there, hopefully. Yeah. Right there. We can get the, uh, the color isn't quite right on the print. But other than that, uh, the, the minifigs aren't aren't bad by any means. Uh, and so, yeah, I guess, I mean, when you look at the minifigures again, like I said, they're not bad. I actually like the detail on these uh, just like regular park security people quite a bit. I like that metallic print on the back there. Uh, these are two characters you don't see a ton of. Uh, again, we get the regular park security quite a bit. Kind of going along with the, uh, kind of going along with the minifigures, you get the dinosaurs. Uh, this dinosaur, the uh, what is it, Pyroraptor? Again, I have not seen the movie yet, so uh, is a brand new mold. It's printed very well. I mean, you can see it's uh, dual molded in terms of well molding, but then you've also got um, I don't know if that's dark brown or brown plus the eye print plus some sand blue and some red so i mean there's lots of colors that are on there and i like the color scheme we also we've seen this one before the dilophosaurus this came in a, i think it was a 2020 maybe a 2019 set uh but this one is back you don't see a lot of repeat dinosaurs particularly of this size normally if they're going to repeat it it's the little baby raptors but uh yeah this one's back again i actually like this one so i don't mind I don't have the other one either, so or the other set either, so that's the first time I'm getting that one. But the majority of this uh, set is the uh, Jeep here, or the car, or truck, whatever you'd like to call this, the vehicle. Um, it's pretty big, you know, it's, I mean, it's eight wide, plus the wheels extend out. I mean, this thing might be every bit of 10 wide, really. Um, I mean, it's, it's built like a tank, though. This thing is... It is well built as it should be. I mean, it's it's supposed to be a an SUV. I've been noticing this with some of the Jurassic uh, latest Jurassic World stuff. They have these windows, but they don't actually have anything in there. It's just open. Uh, that's kind of a negative to me. I do like the color scheme. You know, tan and black looks. Again, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't. Maybe this is directly out of the movie. I don't know. Um, if you look on the inside, though. Yeah, somewhat rare for a uh, Lego vehicle is you can put two minifigures side by side. You don't see that too often. You also see that it does set up uh, or does have some uh, something to carry, you know, in the cargo area of the vehicle. Uh, one of the other kind of little minor negative things I dislike is where it closes here. There's like a clear gap. It doesn't actually like truly close up all the way. But um, Oh, yeah. and then the trailer itself, I mean, this opens easily enough. It actually holds both of the dinosaurs, and since it holds both of these dinosaurs, I would imagine that it would hold other ones of similar size, um, you know, whether or not they come in this set or not. Now, again, that's not a super big uh, part of this. I would also imagine that since this is just the standard ball hitch right there, that, you know, there's lots of LEGO vehicles with trailers, that, um, well, lots of Lego trailers and things that could be hooked up to this, and this could be hooked up to lots of other um, Lego vehicles, whether they're Jurassic World or not. Uh, you could probably just switch out, you know, these three pieces with the stickers, and this 
would actually look right at home within a Lego city, albeit, you know, a little wider than most. Uh, when you look at the parts, I shouldn't say when you look at but if you take the parts into consideration, just in terms of just general, like, part collecting, uh, if you want to make it into mock fodder, it does have some uh, good colors, you know, lots of tan, lots of black, a fair amount of gray, but there's not much in terms of bricks. Those are almost all going to be plates and modified plates. There's a few bricks in there. I know there's a blue one uh, under the under here. I don't know if you can see it if I pull that up. I don't know if I even want to pull that up, but there's a I, I know there's a blue two by two brick in there, but there's not much in terms of uh, bricks. And there, and I know there's some tan ones in here, like you can see the tan right, dark tan right there and right there. But most of it is in plates. Now again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's just you know giving you information. Um, in the end, though, I do think I'm going to give this a B. Again, there might be something that I'm missing from the movie that is I'm either overlooking that could be completely helping this review or hurting this review. Uh, so you'll have to take that with a grain of salt. But uh, I'm going to give it a B. You know, it's a, it's a solid set, but I, just, I wish there was either more to it or that there was, you know, something just a little more exciting. I feel like we get lots of these uh, vehicles, lots of uh, SUVs from the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World uh, kind of theme. So uh, I'll go with a B. So you can tell me if that is right, wrong, or somewhere in between. Uh, you know, hopefully you leave me a comment. Uh, and uh, hopefully I hear from you soon. Hopefully you hit the like button. Hopefully this has been a good six or seven minutes of your life. I hope you hit the subscribe button and hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.